Hi everyone, I'm Zachary and this is my schoolmate Cassandra. We are part of the Holy Childhood Kids. We help kids all over the world. It's all part of life at school. Study, play, pray, have fun, learn. About theater arts and video editing and growing stuff to eat. And planning for our futures and for the future of the whole world. That's where Holy Childhood comes in. Through Holy Childhood, kids all across Canada are helping to make the world a better place. So join us on an adventure around the world. We will explore the lives of children who in some ways are just like us, and in other ways they live lives that are really, really different. Together, we are the Holy Childhood Kids. Together, we can make the world a better place. Today, we are going to visit Zambia. This country is approximately the size of Texas, or about 70% of the size of Ontario. There are more than 13 million people living there, and 3 million are Catholic. 6 million of Zambia's people are children under the age of 18. That means children make up almost half the population. This is a good reason to make Zambian kids a priority. Poverty is widespread in the country. In the big cities, 64% of the total population lives below the poverty line, rising to 80% in the countryside. For kids, sometimes their moms have to cut back on the number of meals they have each day. Many just have one meal a day. That means they are often very hungry. It hurts a lot to be that hungry. Most of all, it is hard for hungry kids to learn things at school, things they will need to know when they are grown up. In Canada, we can expect to live to 85 years old and even more. In Zambia, people do not live past the age of 38. This is the fourth lowest rate in the world. Already, we kids who supported the Canadian Holy Childhood Society have made a big difference. We have helped more than 20,000 kids. In fact, we have supported healthcare and nutrition programs. We have provided food for kids going to school. Only 50% of the children attend primary schools, and just 4% go to high school where you have to pay tuition. Holy Childhood Association is helping by building schools and providing materials for the children. Without those efforts, a lot of kids would not be helped. The challenge that we face in this country is that the future of these children is quite bleak. Because many of them cannot go to school. And even if they find a school, Quality education is very hard to come by. We are helping out in schools, providing of books and desks. We are also helping out to ensure that the children are formed in, in a Christian way. We offer Christian education. We also offer possibilities of them getting to know the Catholic faith. In Canada, we have easy access to water, but that is not the case here in Zambia. Safe drinking water is a huge issue, and many can't afford the water that is available. We don't have taps here to provide us with the water. And even where there are taps in a few places, we have to pay. We pay about 250 kwacha, that is a Zambian dollar, for a container of water. And that's how we manage. And this is a very big problem, because we don't all have clean water. The biggest health issue in Zambia is HIV AIDS and the orphans who are left behind when the parents die of the disease. Currently, 14.3% of the Zambian population, or 845,000 people, are living with HIV and AIDS. Zambia has 1.1 million children who are orphans. We at Holy Childhood try to help the orphans with nutrition programs and a health clinic. It's a home of peace. It's a home of love. It's a home of love. Every year, this home gets some support from the Society of the Holy Childhood in order to ensure that they have the food, they send the children to school and meet other basic necessities.
The church in Zambia not only helps the children, but also their mothers, who are often not treated well and do not have the same opportunities as the men for education and for jobs. Traditions can be sometimes very harsh on women, but now <clears throat> the mind is, is changing. We are all, uh, in the eyes of God, created in the image and likeness of God, and therefore each one of us has a right to be respected. This is our now emphasis in teaching. Zambia may be one of the poorest countries in the world, but their culture is rich. And the church hopes that no matter how modern the young people become, they will always stay in touch with that beautiful culture that is part of their history. If at the core they know who they are and they can appreciate uh, what it means to be an African, to be a Zambian, they still value that and be able to do great things with that, I think uh, th there is quite a lot of hope uh, for, for this country. Zambia's church began many years ago as a missionary church, and people came from all over the world to help get it started. Today's Zambian church is still a missionary church with many huge tasks to accomplish, but almost all of the missionaries are Africans. Zambia's missionaries are working hard to make their country a happier and more healthy place, and they know we are helping them. As stay-at-home missionaries, we kids can assist the African missionaries through our prayers and donations. But this is a two-way street. The kids we help, help us too. They teach us about what is most important in life. Things like having fun even when you don't have a lot of stuff. Things like the way kids love and care for their parents and other siblings. The way they work hard to help their families survive. It all begins with getting to know Zambia's kids a little better. So join us on this great learning adventure. Do a class project based on this video on Zambia. Write the Canadian Holy Childhood Association to get more background. Raise some money. Holy Childhood will let you know how the money is spent. Above all, keep these kids in Zambia in your prayers. For sure, they will be praying for you. Together, all the Holy Childhood kids of the world are forming a huge circle of love. It's where you belong. Mm -hmm.